Hello and welcome to Zach 3 TV. This is Smos Texas Murder Speedway. Last week's uh, winner was Skylar Taylor. Uh, they're starting here in fourth, and then starting pole, Mark Lenard. Uh, gonna win the last season at uh, Papyrus Motorsports Park. We're gonna try to get a win here today. Um, we'll see how that goes. There's Texas. First time we ran in Texas, and uh, we didn't run the last season in either series. Uh, didn't make the schedule votes based on IRL uh, opinions of the track. Uh, that would be understandable, but uh, we'll see if uh, it's any better whatsoever for this. Got David Don in the booth. Um, say hi if you want. Hi. Yeah, so. Um, or that, that really kind of my spiel. But uh, I think it's at the point. I think we're at a point in the standings. It is race six, so we can start talking about standings now, right? So like, current uh, points leader, not even like got a whim. They got six points over Brock Nelson in the 51, who won it. Uh, I, can, I don't even remember where they won. I think it was Old Spice, but. Exo hasn't won a single race. They've gotten, mm. they've only gone one race. Or wait, no, I take that back. Yeah, they missed actually. Uh, yeah, they have the most top tens this season with four. They've only have one missing ring on that top tens list. So, uh, they're de definitely the points leader right now. Only six ahead of Brock Nelson. Only sixteen ahead of, of Eric Monaco in the point standings. But yeah, it's like race six. So we might start talking about it now. It's like thirty. Five race season. But, uh, you got any thoughts, David? Uh, well, I'm tired, so maybe watching a Texas race isn't the best idea for me, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> Texas race is not the best idea, no sir. Uh, well, people voted for it, and uh, I have delivered. And it looks Who like the uh, there's 40 uh, people that do the mod vote or the track vote. Are they are they immigrants? Dang, didn't take long. All right, racism. At its finest. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Craig Pockeris, uh appears to have some damage. According to his spotter, they might have a tire issue. So uh, keep an eye on them on the restart what? for sure. Where'd you hear that from? Chat says uh, tire tire wheel oh, damage too. No. Uh, um, oh, well, the field's going to die. The, it might not be too bad. It's only two. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. I mean um, to fix so my I... drawing distance on some of these cars. I'm not seeing as much as I was. If I remember correctly, the... Uh... 88 car is allowed to pick his schemes before the race. Everyone is. Oh wait, I forgot to. Oh wait, no, 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 I didn't forget to change yours. Yours is the Light McQueen. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta I make a know. scheme schedule if you want to change them throughout the season. I uh, um. Otherwise, you're gonna stay in the Light McQueen tar until until yeah, well, otherwise. I didn't. I didn't know that um. You could do that. Drivers, stop your engines. Man's been given. Marker Lenard starting from the pole. Number 66, Roach Racing. Uh, I'm guessing Checkers or Wreckers Podcast. Dodge. Right next to Melinda Jones. Behind that, Azrael Drummer in the 75. Skyler Taylor in the 54. And then right in the top five in the 57, the same Oscar. 51 laps around the Texas Motor Speedway. Last time we raced her, uh, 2022, I believe, we had uh, several bad crashes that ended up on the Twitter. So you know your crashes are bad if they end up on the Twitter. Um, Did you just say several bad crashes that ended up on the Twitter? Yep, bad crashes. Oh, Christ. Hopefully it isn't repeated. Do not sleep on that 75 car. They've actually been really consistent the, this early in the season. Is nope. Monster a car in this league? There's a There's monster car. Monster. Uh, well, the 24 was supposed to be a monster car, but uh, <laughs> I may have forgotten to change the paint scheme. Uh, anyways, moving on back to the leaders. I believe I turned on game yellow, so if we get like an in-game yellow, they'll just automatically throw it for us. That'd be nice. That's <laughs> it, there. That and my chat button will start going nuts. Yeah, Dreamer's been doing. Pretty good this season, with all considered, but nonetheless, they're still, like, fifth to last in standings, sadly, so. Even at the best upcomings, you, you can still suck. But Marco Lennard, currently leading here, trying to do a full race sweep, as we usually see here at these Texas tracks, IRL. And it looks like uh, right. Caution is out. 
That 46 oh, car, already. the tire may have finally went out on the 46. Uh, that may be why we're under yellow. It looks fine. That, I'm not sure if that's why we're under yellow or not. Uh, we'll take I a look and see God, who was last. Um, oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. All right, let's see. Let's see what happened here. Uh, if anything happened here. Oh, no, there's a big what? crash on the front. What? Wait, wait, was that okay? We'll see. Uh, yep, big one right here. Well, I'm, I'm mostly okay. Alright. Uh, um, um, ah, uh, this is totally not my fault here. I think the best way we can see is, I'll see, uh, does Chibi 2 provide anything different? Uh, well, let's go slow here, so it looks like, uh... Um, uh... <laughs> Uh, the the five the five came down. <laughs> sure, buddy. Sure. <laughs> Anyways, got to those seven. We'll go and rewind it a little bit just to see when they got into. Okay, 07. what is that? I'm sorry. What is that? Oh, seven font. That's a good question. I think it's RCR. And the sixty-three got up on two wheels. Yeah. I wonder if he saved it. You know, right in front of the track into the 30, who's fast in practice, and then the 45 Ian Styles. I think Sushir was able hit, to don't avoid. Get hit, don't get hit. hit. Zigzagoon narrowly avoids. Don't get hit. And I think it's just really a five car wreck. 63, Whoa. 6, 0, 7, we're 30, okay. 45. No, we're good. You might count the, uh, the 63 and the 5, but they really I didn't spin out there. I don't. Oh, wait, what, what are we doing? Why are we still in pits? You got you damage repair, I'm guessing. What, what damage? There's barely any damage. There you go. Well, that's why it didn't take him too long to repair it. So let's, let's see what we happened bet. to Craig Pockers. I, I, I don't know if he spun out or anything, but he didn't Is eventually anyone... have to pit for that damage he had on his wheel. I've probably asked this before. Is there any relation to Bob Pockers? I have actually not asked this myself, so uh, you have to ask Craig. Uh, I think he pitted as soon as we went green. He pitted as the caution was coming out. I think, I think he may have even had a view of the wreck. No, it looks like he pitted when we went green. Oh yeah, that'd be right. Never mind. He may have still seen the wreck though. Yeah, he I went. Think... Yep, he did see the wreck. Oh Jesus! He just didn't quite get to see it because of the drawing distance. So unfortunately, I can't find the template. Let's see, uh, when did he come in? I think I think he came in actually on lap zero. So he's a lap down. I think he's in the free pass position, Craig would be. I'd... Yeah, he came in I with... I feel like he... Oh, he might be the only one to lap down. Oh, he didn't even go. He he went ahead and just parked it. All right. Um, He'd probably already... Yeah, he, he's going to get the free pass here. So we're just going to go ahead and... Where's my mouse? Okay. 30s out. Uh, I don't think anyone really has any abysmal damage um, from that accident. We're going to wave the 46. Oh, you're good. <clears throat> Natural stuff happens. So the leader at the line, I think, still Marker Leonard. He's still. Or no, I think the 57 might have got around him for the lead. I actually All I can see tell this. you is, it was, that was not my fault. Yep, coming to the coming to the caution flag, 57 was able to get around the 66. Yep, he's had a really good entry there. Oh, coming to the three, got around the 66, and uh, boom, took the lead just like that. That's going to be points for laps led, and uh, well, it's good to be in front of the, and uh, trying to avoid stuff, so, yeah. Um, what turn is this? Is this? Ah, oh, it's turn four. All right. So, yeah, uh, we haven't talked a lot about Samet. Uh, he got two wins last season, both at Kansas. He swept the Kansas races and done anything else. Currently 13th in the standings for PS Motorsports. I wouldn't sleep on them in constructors for either Cup or Smos. But during what goes, we're gonna go green this time. We're gonna go. I'm gonna pause my game real quick. Make sure Dofa restarts is on. We're actually gonna add green light checkers as well if we need them. And uh, we're gonna try a double file restart here. If it'll work. Craig is back to just one lap down. Got 
laps. Seven out of 51. So they made it, all, I think, two laps and then had a yellow. So unfortunate. I think everyone's still in the race over that, though. And not a lot of visible damage for any of the cars involved, really. Everyone's still in it. Craig probably has the most damaged car in the field. That's just the internal, internal stuff he may have already got fixed. It'll just be a tire um, issue. Well. Alright, doubling up here. Out of four. Hopefully we have a green start. I, I can't speak English. Clean start. We got a a green up. start? I'm pretty sure the start is a green flag, sir. I said green. <laughs> like crab, green. Yeah, it's a bad. crab green. Yep. Yeah, let's go to helicopter cam. Uh, car length in between. If the 66 are car length ahead in between, if there's a car length gap in between them, that's a penalty. If not, then we're good. Chat's blinking. Is... We'll take a look at that in a second. As the green flag is in the air, restart is clear. Legal, I'd rather say. It looks Three like car, uh, the 2001 Michael Waltrip Napa car. And the 75, who started up front, uh... I think has a something going on with their stuff. Something in the chat saying they have a, a little bit of issue with the wheel. Let's we'll keep an eye on them. They're running up front here, so let's we'll keep an eye on the 75 reporting a wheel issue. Um, maybe. Perhaps. I was talking about the three car. Hey, it looks like we're already in yellow. What happened? Oh no. Um. It wasn't me. I wonder if that had anything to do with the 75's wheel issue. The 75's right there. We'll wait for some of these cars to pass. See what happened. <clears throat> oh yeah, wait. So who's in the Jaguar's car? It's uh, 90 and Matthew Hill. Uh, well, who's in the Jaguar's is they traded for Mac Jones. Oh, Ryan uh -oh. Cole. Heavy damage there. Uh... My guess is someone didn't go on the start, and it might have caused a stack up. Is my guess. I really have no idea. Ooh, big crash oh, Jesus. on the restart. So, holy moly, holy plow! Is this someone didn't go or something? It was a very bad start. Seventy-five went. Uh. All right, let's start with the 17 of uh -oh. Brian Webb. What happened here? Okay. Uh, <laughs> what's this? Uh, three wide? What? Were we even? Uh. Uh, that's weird. Three wide before we even crossed the line. Alex and Vittle, Brian Webb, and Kyler Shustray. Tufty Terror involved. Jet. Nelson. Cooper, Craig Pockeris. You know, I feel Ryan like maybe Cole. we should look at maybe we should look at my point of view. Of course. <laughs> look at that hood. <laughs> hey, um, guess what? Okay, I'm good. Well, that wreck was pretty bad. I'm pretty sure it's going to take some cars out of the race. <laughs> um, uh, we're going to excuse that restart. We uh, won't turn off double ball restarts for that one. It, it just seemed like a restart violation from the 98. So 98 will get EOL L on this restart if they're still in it, which they are. If you heard my soundboard, I had to do it once, okay? I didn't hear it. Oh. What's EOL mean? Into the longest line. Restart violation. Yep. Also into the back. They're already in the back anyway, so I, I guess it really don't matter, but... Oh, well. But, yeah, a lot of cars, a lot of damage from that wreck. The fifth, I believe the 57 was able to hold the lead still. Yeah, that, yeah that's old true. Uh, unfortunately, though, yeah. it looks like the uh, other leader, 66 the marker, Lennard, has fallen back to sixth. Oh, that's interesting. So that brings Riley Gorse up here. Uh, I believe he's still looking for his first career win in that 16 car. I uh, I got a question for you, but I'll ask it some later after the race. All right, let's check the chat. Chat button is going crazy. 
And unfortunately, Angie Johnson uh, engine damage to the 24. Probably car. done. I'm not sure if they're done, if but you... engine damage to the 24. Oh, yeah, they're yeah, done. Yeah, I think they're done. Yeah. Unfortunately, for the 24 seen... car. As Angie soon as Johnson. I saw the number. Unfortunately, Angie Johnson is going to be done for the day. Did not want that. Had a great race at Pocono <laughs> after uh, everyone else did. <sighs> we don't talk about that. We do not talk about Pocono. Yeah, All right. dude. All right, we don't so... talk about Pocono. No. So surprisingly enough, only one car out of the race. Well, two now. The 46, despite being involved in that wreck, I'm going to be nice give him the free pass. If you count the 24, technically, you know, two cars. Oh, yeah, that's true. 24. They haven't quite called it yet, so. Can you, like, with chat commands, can you, like, DNF people or something? DQ is best I can do. Uh, will, will that, like, what, uh... 46 is not happy with a 98. Yeah. Uh, after that crash. Dang. They know darn well that 98 caused it, so I, I may should have added a lap to that yellow, because we're going green this time. Kyle Bush restart. As long as he gets around everyone just fine, he should. And he will, so he will go back around and probably start at the end of the longest line. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, it's clearly mad at the 98. Uh, he will get his lap back, but... Uh, uh, you know, I'm not going to penalize that. He didn't really give me any damage. <clears throat> but you can tell the frustration. Or, uh, um, what's going on here? Does the 16 have an issue? Yeah, that's the last double file restart we're doing. For sure. Is the 16? Are, are all these cars lapped out? No, they're all in the lead lap. What? Whoa. Alright, yeah, we're turning on double file restarts after that. That's... That's not supposed to happen. Um, that is weird. All right. Um, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause. Turn off double fall <laughs> restarts. We're gonna do what we did last time. Uh, I'm actually gonna. I'm actually considering just not doing double fall restarts anymore because it appears to be an issue. But these cars are probably going to get penalized by the game for a restart violation. 16 specifically. Um. I just don't wow, even know. Wow, what a start. I don't even know what that was, but... Uh, it's Texas. Yeah, so 16 is probably... Yeah, a lot of these guys serving penalties, jump on the start. Oh. That is the worst pit road entry I have ever seen. That's going to cause the big one off the corner. What the I heck? The 30s... What the heck, man? We'll have another 37. Oh, no. What the heck, man? Bro... Uh, he was trying to come down. That's why. I'm not even going to question that. So he's around. What happened to the 93? 93? He's been in a couple wrecks already today. Oh. 54, Skyler, Taylor. I don't even know who's leading at this point. And then this happens. 23 is involved. 83. Oh they pile in behind him. Craig, <laughs> who just got his race back on. They weren't going very so, fast at the time. Some of these guys didn't get a lot of damage. Some did. Is there a way you can turn off double file restarts but keep the race at where it's at? I already turned them off. So let's go to the pace oh. car, see what the pace car is saying. So those guys that pitted aren't exactly screwed now. But uh, we don't really know who's we where right now. now. Well, we got to find out where the field's supposed to be. So I think Brandon Nelson came out on top of that. Uh, funny enough, he was involved in that lap one wreck, that five car. He's got damage on the front end. So he, I believe he's scored our leader. Um, I mean, hard just I, I don't think I'm gonna give it out a free pass after that one. Yeah, I think. Oh uh, yeah, that, that put a lot of cars lap down. Um, thinking about cars that pitted. Yeah, I think anyone who who went a lap down is cars that got penalized for going down pit road. So, I'm just gonna <clears throat> excuse that at this point. Because I don't even know what that was. So no more double file restarts. We're single file restarts from here. Let me just pause and double check that is what I clicked. And not the uh, other thing. Airplane, your game crashes. That's why I pause. So it doesn't. 
or it lessens the chance of that. And it looks like uh, 17 is coming in pit road. They had damage earlier. Yeah, they still heavy damage. 24 fan. Craig's still in it. Craig is still driving that car. Been in five. Been in two wrecks. Got a couple laps down. He is having a take rough me out, day. Coach. I can still race. Yeah. <laughs> Might be in shot for a top ten. I'm in eleventh. Brandon Nelson, damaged car. He's got a disadvantage. He's got some lap cars behind him. I believe I haven't set where the lap cars will be sent to the back. Let me double check that. My paranoia is kicking in. Yeah, they're going to be sent to the back once we get the one to go sign. So 94 and the one, I believe. Or no, uh, a lot of these cars. Sam, Sam Oskin is the uh, second place car. There's a ton of lap cars that got lapped by the five. Oh, yeah, you're welcome for the help, by the way, with Walter White. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> that was that was a stream and a half. All right, let's see. Chat's popping up again. Let's see what it's saying. Uh, the 08 of Cactus Kings out of pit road. I believe he's still in the race. A couple laps down, unfortunately. Probably three once the timing loop updates. We're going to let this caution run out. Probably go green, not this time, but next time around. The way this car is looking. <laughs> but yeah, funky restarts, I will say. Um, we may just end up axing the double file restarts in all together, but... Not gonna be giving these guys these laps back because I think there were the cars that had to pit for restart violation, which I, um, was caused by a little far restart. So I, just... I have a I have a great request. I don't know what. If there's a chance where I'm gonna photo finish, because of my scheme, do I have permission to have um, additional length because of tongue? No. Oh. It was worth a try. Fair enough. Also, the five has rear end damage. Yeah, he has. Fr he was involved in uh, lap one or lap two wreck, I believe. Might have been a lap wreck after that. Who's in, who's in second? Fifty-seven, I believe. These cars are gonna be going to the back. Ninety-four and all that. So. Ninety-four, twenty-one. A lot of cars going to the back after going to lap down. This will bring up the cars that are on the <laughs> lap up front. Same odds can Matthew Hill in third. Last week, uh, last year won at Homestead. Pace Avery had a bad race last week. Uh, don't count him out of this. Uh, Jet 07 was also involved in uh, one of those wrecks. Ezreal Dreamer still in it. Uh, the 71 of Batatna. Pox Kozart. Brock Nelson, who's second in points. And Caden Williams in the 25. I believe uh, Pace and Avery is also involved in that first wreck. So those guys uh... are involved in that first wreck coming out top right now. I'm just going to point this out. We got one, two, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Soto Wars. Yep. That is true. Mountain Dew versus Coke. PS Motorsports versus Trackhouse. Pitbull? Uh. Maybe. Single file restarts from here on out. Five cars going to lead them to the green. 57 is going to see what they can do behind that. He's not a rookie, by the way. He just has rookie stripes because he's using the same paint scheme as last season, and I was too lazy to change it. Uh, same as the 0-7. Oh. At least you admit it. Yeah, this five car's got a major uh, disadvantage damage. We'll see if that affects their lead at all. Got a really good start there, though. We'll see if we can get any green flag racing here. We're coming to lap 19. Side by side for second. 90 Matthew Hill. Like I said, won at uh, Homestead. He's going to go ahead and get around that five car really Whoa, quick. Run. I think that five car's damage kicking in right now. Yeah, he's going to get sent three wide by uh, Ezreal yeah, Dreamer. Three wide for second. And Whoa. some other cars. Hopefully we're still green. We are. That is That 75 is going for second, right? Yeah, correct. Yes, they're in P2. And if we're going to take the lead. Didn't, didn't he have wheel damage at the start of the race? He had wheel damage after that first yellow. He may have pitted and repaired it. It looks like uh, the one car going into pit road. 
Dude, this is some super speedway racing right now. Could be. Kind of weird. Wasn't supposed this to be like, set up like that, to be honest. This is like... I don't like Las Vegas. This is like Texas is if they made it like how Atlanta is. Which they, ironically, kind of should do. Alright, it looks like uh, the 48 of Eric Monaco is in pit road. 71 of Batatna, pull away with the 75 of Ezreal Drummer. Ezreal Drummer, I believe, got a win last season. I can't remember what track. I think Pox Kozar got shoveled out. Caden Williams in third. 88, 29, 48, 93, all out of pit road. Right now, it's looking like it might be a three-car breakaway. We don't know yet. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, still got a lot of racing left, especially if it's under green. And it looks like the one car, no Clifton, also out of pit road. We'll definitely shake up standings, though. Let's see what the 32 car is, if he's even still in the race. Uh, XO, 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 XO. Yeah, he, I saw him. Where? Oh, uh, 28th, a lap down. Not where you want to be when you're first uh, behind you in standings. I just lead. First behind you in standings, I uh, believe, on the lead lap, right? I don't know, 53. I have no idea. But 71 took the lead from 53. the... Uh, never mind. 51, my bad. 51's in 6th. Okay, so when the person behind you in standing is probably going to retake the points lead, as it looks, is Caden Williams is going to try to dive low, take a second here. 25, Gar Summoner Incorporated, number 25. I just said 25 twice in the same sentence. Don't ask me. Caden Williams sponsorless. Yep, because he would not tell me what he wanted as a sponsor. Oh, we might have some lab traffic. Yep, one car, no, Clifton. Worst part is this dude's my neighbor. I could literally go over to his house and ask him, hey, what sponsor do you want? But uh, I talked to him on Discord. He just kept leaving dude, me on really? red. He's your neighbor? Yeah, 25, Kid Williams. You should have asked him. I could have, but I'm very antisocial, so maybe not. Just throw a rock in his window and be like, hey, what number you, what sponsor do you want? Well, then I'd be out $75. Why is that? Because Windows costs 75 bucks. How do you know? Uh, I, How many I, windows have you broken? Uh, Well... I may have broke one, but uh, I did not pay for it. But uh, I was, I was reminded of how much it was cost. It did cost. <laughs> and Williams still leads with that seventy-five right behind him. Yeah, these two currently looking to, looking really good right now. Yeah. Right now, I feel like we're just starting to run some laps. Yep, that's good. With, good, good thing right now. This ain't bad. Minus the yellows. I mean, at yeah. least in my opinion. And the uh, restarts. Yeah, Keaton Williams. And uh, here comes the 75, looking at the inside. 37, again, just con comes in the pit road. I don't know if that's exactly what you do. What you want to do is go side by side as you get closer to lap cars. I don't know. Maybe of these fellers have won a race in the specific division. 75, Bellers. or actually take that back. 75 won a late race last season. The 25 has not won a race in this division. However, he did win two cup races. He moved down a league because, again, left me on red. So, yeah. Once again, the 90 coming to the front. Yeah, it looks like 37's out of pit road. You can see him there on the apron briefly. But yeah, Matthew Hill in the 90 won at Homestead Miami last season. Been in here since 2021. Looking really good there. He's a, also teammates with the 51, so interesting for constructors. Both the Matthew Hill racing cars inside the top 10 right now. And uh, believe it or not, I, I think there's lapped traffic. Nope, never mind. The standings just had to loop, th loop through. I thought well, some of those cars that were in the top five there were lapped down. I was mistaken. As the 25 looks for the leading end. It's going to allow this 90 to catch back up. Definitely so. We'll see if that sticks. They slowly catch the, uh, what is that, the 1 or the 17? I believe it's the 1. The 17, I don't know. They're actually pretty off pace, the 17 is, but we haven't seen them well, yet. Well, they have, they have the same sponsor. Yeah, they do. Uh, 17 is a la uh, actually the first car on the lead, last car on the lead lap in 23rd. They're 21 seconds back with heavy damage. So, uh, 
How is it heavy damage? I mean, look at that car. It looks I'm talking fine. about the I'm talking about the 17. Here, this is the one oh. car. The one car is uh, I think a couple laps down. Yeah, they're about three laps down, 37th. Not a great day for them. But to be fair, that goes for the rest of their career. Wow. I mean, for real though, like they they have not had a very good career. Second season, uh, mm. abysmal. The Wild Wolf Motorsports number one. All right. Um, debating on if we should go ahead and call it a day for the 17. He is losing a second a lap here. I think. I'll let it. We'll let the second one roll through. See if he's still within a second. It's gonna be better than 23:62. Otherwise, I'm gonna end his day. Your second off pace. Uh, can't have you on the track. Yeah. I'm gonna have to call him to the pit road. All the day for the 17, unfortunately. They're not on enough pace. They're on the lead lap, but unfortunately not on enough pace. Back to the leaders. 90's taking and second. They, they caught the one. I don't know what happened to the 75, but they're not there anymore. They, uh, they fell off. Oh. Yep, simply just fell off. They're down to 8th place now. Oh, pass to the lead. Side by side, we'll slap traffic in front. 90 makes a smart decision. And the 21 is making a horrible decision. What an idiot. Fox Cozart in the 21 going for third here against David Dunn. And here he goes, dives it into the one. That draft of the one car at 25 got that last time around was good enough to keep in the lead, but it won't be the same here. That 21 Fox Cozart may also try to get around that 25. Yeah, he does right there in the inside. You were correct. Did not get the run off the corner. And that, that 25 might lose another spot. Yeah, David Dawn's get able to go around in there. The six. Yeah. Am I going to have to start saying things about other countries and genders just to win this race? Well, we remember last time that happened. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. You I did get... Yeah. Listen, that was only because a woman decided to dive bomb at two corners in a row. And uh, where is she at now? DNF. Piston. Angie Johnson, I hope, 24. I hope, I hope your viewers know I'm not being serious. I hope so. <laughs> but yeah, that one car has kind of no, just become a draft, no, a draft pick. No. Kid Williams wants fourth place back, or no, uh, yeah, third place back. My bad. And you get trained by the 23 quadruped and the 94 Alex. I get, Alex I get excuse me, I get what now? Trained. Well, I may be getting past right now, but Kane Williams, um, your mom likes these nuts. Oh, wow. Referring to peanuts. Greg Pocker is going to lap down. Uh, I believe he was on the lead lap. I think. <laughs> was he? Oh, he might hold him up here. Might a little <laughs> bit. He wasn't losing enough time per se for me to axe him, but yeah, he's had a rough uh, day. Crap. Surprisingly enough, lap 37 is when he goes a lap back a lap down. He's still the free pass car too, though, so. Do not count him out. Oh! But. The Bass Pro Shops car. Th or not Bass Pro. Um, all. Hang on. That's the Bass Pro Shops car. Not Bass Pro. Not Bass Pro. Uh. The thing. The one that sponsors Ryan Blaney. Advanced Auto Parts. Oh, yeah. Quadruped? Yeah, they got. Yeah, he's getting held up. Well. Dang. He got the short end of that stick. Bad, bad timing, I guess. Jeremy Frey still holding up in the top 10. He's actually had a really great uh, comeback this season. Last season got a win. 2001 Daytona 500 scheme. My brother in Christ. I do not... Th this would be cursed if it was a Daytona 500 scheme from 20, 2001. Dude, this, oh, we got a wreck. Oh. We got a wreck. Uh -oh. It's the leaders. The 94 is around. <laughs> Bro, what the um, heck? Oh, Matthew oh Hill, Chef Squid. 
all tangled um, up. Pace and Avery, Pox Cozart, all were uh, in the top I, ten I, battling I, for position. Craig Pockers is done. I would I would like to let you know that that three car is actually Michael Waltrip's 2001 scheme. What happened? Oh, these were all fighting for position. Four this wide. was for third place. And four wide, I think. Yeah, four wide. The uh, 94 75. came up. 75. They were pushing the envelope, but they got together. They were already wrecking before the 75 and got to him. 75 just caught up in the mess. I think he was able to avoid. But Pox Cozart, Alex Tanker, Matthew Hill all running up front. They really need a good run today. And unfortunately, that's not going to happen, it looks like. And oh. Brock Nelson, he's involved a little bit. That may be enough to change some things in his race picture and point stings. Jeremy Frey barely evades it. Quadruped gets sliped. As you see Pox Cozart floating down the track. I think what eventually okay, somebody hits him. Here comes Craig oh, Cockeris. All the debris. And then guys that can't use the brakes, Zig Zagoon. 37. Pacer, he was on, Payson was on the brakes, nowhere to go. Ian Stiles involved in that first wreck. He's gone. Oh, Payson Payson. on his side. Oh, Marker, his your pole sitter, Marker Lennard, hit him. And then the 32 narrowly evades it. Potato Boy does not. Underneath him. And then I think Matthew got hit by somebody. Because he was already stopped at that point. As Payson comes down on all four tires. Man, that was a nasty wreck. I think he got plowed by somebody. Plowed. Row, row. Oh, Chef Squid. Man. Hard hit. With, without consent. Hard hit by those guys. Craig Pockers and Shambles. Skyler Taylor. I think the five was involved. Uh, Brandon Nelson, he was up front briefly. Heavy damage. Yep, he's the, 90, the 98 <laughs> of um, Alex and Sanvidal. 07 a Jet. Most of these guys just, just not using the brakes. A lot of contenders taken out. I mean, look at those guys just speeding through. Yeah, a ton of guys that were up front just done. I believe Caden Williams is your leader. Yeah, that would be correct. Yep. So, this changes some things. Where's, how many laps to go? Well, um, once we go green, probably a little less than ten, a little about, about seven if I were to guess. Oh, it says on the bottom. So, the uh, 16, Riley Gorse, going to get the free pass. Can we make it on fuel? I'm not sure, but this race has been so caution-filled, uh, I don't even think it matters. If they did have green flag pit stops, I wouldn't know. Some had them earlier, some had them later. Maybe tire differences, who knows? Katina going to take the free pass. Uh, next no. free pass card would be the 22. That's if we get another yellow. The 32, trying to keep that points gap in check. He's six back coming into this race. Neither have gained any bonus points. 51 or 32. 32 left, down. 51 I get a down. feeling this, feel this race might have under caution. Can't. We got overtimes, dog. How, do you, how does that work? So basically, two to go. If there is a caution with two to go or sooner, the game will add laps to the race until we get it, until we finally get to the white flag. After the white flag, the next flag will end the race. And since they race back... Uh, once uh, the white flag comes out, hey, we're going to the end. It looks like the Breaks. the zero eight of uh, Cactus King, the brake failure, the zero eight. That team has had a very rough season, to say the least. Um, I'm not sure if they're still in the race or not. I, don't, I would imagine not. Oh eight, two laps down. Twenty eighth. Even if they were in the race, oh yeah, you can see trying to get it going. It, very goofy. It might just be game stuff, but regardless, uh, not looking good for that zero eight. That took out a ton of cars. Going green this time. Caden Williams, Samet Oskin. Caden hasn't won in this division. Samet looking for his third career win. Baton Wait. looking for his first win. So, this overtime thing is it a mod? Better cautions that exe. You gotta turn it on while the race is going. Otherwise, uh, you're gonna start the race and it's gonna end under caution. It's, it's uh, really well, weird. never mind. My my friend can't do that. Yeah, it's a, it's rough. Okay, well, Caden isn't entirely sponsorless. If you look on his side, he has Doritos, I think. Doritos and Dollar General on the quarter panel. Why didn't you associate just sponsors? Them a sponsor. Well, associate sponsors of the team. Couldn't find a full brand. Could find a main, but 
Uh, out of the race, no, but the, the, the yeah. 98, the 21, the 90, 0, 06, the 5, the 0, 07, 46, 15, probably the 0, 08, and then the other cars that were out of the race prior, and then a few cars, several laps down that will still have a chance to get those positions. Last car on the lead lap, Riley Gorse in 16th. Go back green. Yep. 25, Caden Williams is going to lead him off. Do we make it to the end? Azrael Drummer in the 75 got a great start there. A lot yeah, of cars. He's look the outside here. A lot of cars did not get a good start. We talked about cars that had damage. That 51, uh, he had damage. He may cause a wreck here if he's not careful. But 75, despite getting the good start, it's going to get overtaken by the 6. So 51 is dropping like a rock. He was involved in that wreck. We might see another wreck here in the back. He could very well. A lot of these guys that have damage trying to get around, uh, trying to make their way through, and then cars that are faster that just got held up on pit road or by cars that do have damage, and it's just not making them fast. So a lot of stuff contributing to this as we're, f I believe, five laps to go this time. I could be mistaken. Uh, 46 out of 51, I think, if you go to the leader. Yeah. Yep. New leader, by the way. Sam Oskin. Uh, 71. Here he comes. Yeah. <laughs> Batat now looking for his first career win. Was the only driver last season to not get a top oh. 10 until late in the season. Then he finally got one. And that 57 almost believer. got spun across the 25 nose. Yeah, that 25 aggressive here. Hasn't won a race since Talladega 2022, I want to say, in the CCS. Back before he we went to the next gens. He was around for Minx 19. Big push from the 75 to the 6 off the corner. Might er try yeah, to air wash him. But... The 75 didn't kill me. Trying to air wash. Oh, 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 looked like a, I don't know if that was a block there or what by the 71. Regardless, something in the chat. The 08 finally calling it a day. The 71, a little bit of a check up there blocking the 25. Both of which looking for their first win in this division. Please let me get down in front of you. That was David Don looking for, trying to look for his first win too. Yeah. He has a really strong start this season. Six cars. I would like a caution. Two to go next time by. Three to go. Nice block there by the 71. Just cuts off that run that 25 had into the corner. Don't count out that three car. Jeremy Frey coming in late. He's doing well in standings too. He's ninth in and standings in the three car. stop passing me. Coming to two to go here at Texas. Hold on, I think I said that zero eight is out of the race. Uh, I could be wrong. I might. He might still be in it. I just got screwed over. Oh, at least still in the top ten. Coming to the white flag here at Texas Motor Speedway. Oh, that 25 has a good run here. He's got a great run. See if he's able to get it done and here. Here he comes. To the bottom, white the 25. Flag. White Don't flag is out. Don't count out the 57 car. Caden clears him. What does Dallas here can have? 57. 50, 25 blocks the lane. Does the 57 have enough to make a move? He's move trying. Him. Move him. Move oh, him. moves him up the track. No. Gets a random on the bottom. No. Sam at Oskin. The last lap move is going to win here in Texas. Third career win for the 57. Damn it. Oh, man. I could, I should have won. Said that about Pocono. Dude, I'm never going to win. <laughs> Keep saying that. It might not happen. <laughs> Got seventh. I've seen worse. I want to see where that 51 finished compared to the 32. So the 32 was actually able to close that points gap in the 51 purely because the 51 got damaged on that one wreck. So still got a gain, but I think at this rate, maybe looking, um, believe it or not, at you, David Dawn, potentially doing something about that points lead as all the other guys did not have a great race. Oh, Matt Crafton championship run. All right. Well, for me, David Dawn, this is Smoss at... Pocono, or not, I am on crack at Texas World. Not sure why it's showing the. Did you just say Pocono? I did. 
Not sure why it's showing lap 16 with the 5 and the 94, but it is. Um, but we're going to go ahead and end it here. Thanks for watching.